Welcome back fellow adventurers to another Clockwork Energy video guide. I'm your host Limberworm and today we're going to be showing you the best definitive edition start you can get before leaving town. As you can see our equipment is pretty good. We had a decent amount of RNGs on our side, not a crazy amount though. And uh, yeah it was it was quite good. As you can see we even got some potions which is 20% and below chance of getting. The stats and stuff will be shown in this video. And we've got a decent amount of skills and health and resistances before we even leave town. Now follow through and enjoy the video. So, you've created your character. Ignore that ghost, that's part of one of my mods. You're simply going to want to follow this exact route where we're going to pick up every single gabri, every single piece of useful loot in the game and obtain as much stuff as possible as early on as we can. Now we're gonna take this one off because we're gonna get another one for free from you there. Get our fishing pole, it's gonna be our main weapon to start off with. We're only gonna pick up the stuff we need to start off with. So we're gonna come up here and grab this stuff. There's a bandage here, don't forget this, right next to that. Grab the gabberies. Talk to you, Zia. Hey there. Talk to You'll you catch a cold if you wander around without any clothes. Get the bread. Very simple. You want to keep this going. This one is a bit finickety for me, this bush. Don't know why, but it is. I'm going to go and kill the hyenas in a second. The reason we're using the spear or well, the, the fishing pole is because it's nice and easy to use. So drink some water, get the water buff. We can eat one singular gabbri. And then hopefully we can separate them. The idea is to separate them. You don't want to fight them together. So you want to sneak up to one. Get us, it's got its attention on me. Oh no, I've got the second one on me. This is not going to go well. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, crafty little devil. <sighs> Charge attacks are a good way to go. So you just run, charge, roll. Stop running for a little bit. Strafe rounds. You're going to get hit a few times. It's going to happen. We shouldn't need to use our bandage. We might actually need to because there's two of them. This is not going as well as I planned. I'm about to run out of stamina and I've only killed one. Okay, that's one down. So let's walk back into the area. It'll follow us. Just, just don't lock onto it to disengage. Okay, right now. One, take the hit. Two, three, dodge. One, two, dodge. Power hit, dodge. That was very close. Power hit. That was extremely close. Probably not the best thing. We got the predator bones, so the risk, the risk was worth it 100%. Right, let's go and check the other one. The likelihood you get in a predator bones here is basically zero, but it's really low. Oh my god, we actually got predator bones. This is wow, this is um That is ridiculous. Now we're gonna start losing the rest of the stuff. Did I grab the Huh? Oh, did I grab it? Yes I did grab the machete. Okay, Don't forget your pickaxe. The pickaxe is super heavy, so we're gonna equip this. We're going to decon our chest piece so that we can move better. Don't worry about healing yourself. You're not going to need to heal yourself at all at this point because you're going to sleep in a minute and you're going to get rid of that. was pretty close. The idea is if you can't get the fangs, you can still get a decent start, but you get a better start. I just got RNGs, like God tier start, to be honest. 
I don't know how I could have got any better. Deconstruct any cloth stuff. Do not consume the cloths for making varnishes or anything like that. Uh, the, the rags, the elemental rags, just don't waste it. We're going to grab obviously all of the, all of the gabberies. And all the seaweed. Ah, beetles, nice. So we've got four silver. The chance of you getting anywhere between three and five in that. On average, it's it's three being the lowest. Okay, we've obtained everything we can get. Right. Let's go to sleep for an hour. And then get going into our house. Okay, worker boots, worker tire. We're also going to get the green worker tires. It's better, and we're going to deconstruct the spare stuff so that we can still carry everything properly. All right, we're going to go put our backpack on. She's down here, you're primitive satchel. You're going to want to put your gabries in there, so move the bag. Any weapons in there. Uh, you're going to put your seaweed in there as well. And you're going to put a cloth in there as well as those are the things you're gonna be picking up the most. Now, complete RNGs in here, that's not too bad. Could have had worse. Don't forget to leave everything in your home. Don't use or learn any recipes. I will show them on the screen as we pick them up. Pick everything up. Okay, now we're gonna craft some jam from the current gabberies we've obtained. Also, we've got the bread, 10 out of tartine. Nice, easy stuff. Don't have any water yet or anything like that, but I can't believe we've got two lots of predator bones. That is amazing. Right, it's gonna get called trog spawn. Fun times. Rise and shine, trog spawn. Piss you off. think you can nip off a blood price? Yeah, enough of I said you heard, mother. Away with you. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Shut it. Please forgive them. Many okay. Many of them have lost family so, and are not thinking straight. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I can hear you from over here, but... I'm going to grab all the Gabries. If you really want to, there is a course of stuff here. And it respawns. Sometimes it's a fishing pole, but not all the time. There's quite a low chance for it. Okay, so just follow this exact route. Majority of the stuff on this route will be guaranteed besides anything in the junk boxes and the chest that I'm going to show you in a second. This everything will respawn every seven days. So you can do this route every seven days if you wish to get some quick cash. Come on, praise the lot. Give me something good. Crap. At least I got some weather defense potions. I guess that's what's good. The clothing items, not so much. That's fine. We'll make do with what we got. Don't stray from this route, otherwise you will forget stuff. Okay, now we've got our bag slightly going over. We're going to sell Is there we've something got. you need? Yes, indeed. So duplicates of things, of things that don't need to be duplicates. The weapons that we've picked up, the clothing piece, not these clothes because we can deconstruct them. It's fine. And the recipe and the scrap because we don't need it. Okay, we sold that, and I'm going to get our nomad backpack. 
perfect. We're going to equip said Lone Red Backpack if my character decides to not clip into the back rooms. Take everything by pressing Y or Triangle and press it again. You pick up your previous satchel if you want to pick the previous satchel up. I'd advise keeping hold of this and not trying to get rid of it permanently. You can just leave it in town, it won't despawn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop it right here. Don't forget to turn your lantern off though. Left on D pad. Mod, ignore him. I didn't mean to get on the whip, that was supposed to the gap. Look at crab wreaths. There's a hatcher here. Our pouch is getting slightly overweight from all the wood. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Right, now this is a bit of a moral commerce thing, but if you want to get the most of your money, you're gonna to have to rob your ear. I wish I could greet yesterday. The light we lost everyone. Unfortunately, kind is the blood price on you. More like suffering doesn't I'm sorry I don't have better news. Wait. You're m fine. Take my money and buy yourself some decency. Let's go get a second harpoon. And a water skin. When you pick the water skin up, it will be full. Drink some so that your character is refreshed. And then empty it. That was a bit weird. I pressed the wrong button. This harpoon is again will respawn every seven days. So no need to buy them. Now, using said harpoons, we're gonna go fishing. Shame we can't kill those pigeons. That'd be good meat. We've got blue sand. Wow, RNG just really is on our side. That's a good 14 silver. Another raw salmon, good. That'd be one more raw salmon. That's all we need. And some seaweed, nice. Perfect. Now, we're gonna collect the salt water. Don't drink it, you will get a disease. Look this chest. The thing that we're not going to need in here though is the bedroll. You can't sell them and you can't deconstruct them. So just drop them on the floor. Now, if we were going for the ax run, We could do we take the plank shield so we have a shield from the get-go because one-handed axe and a shield is very useful very early on okay let's go get some more recipes to sell do not consume these recipes do not use them do not learn them they will be up on the screen and i will and it will show you exactly what you need to do take a left here Take a left again. And down here. We go to the Cierzo storage. This again, a bit of RNG and a bit of guarantee. It's a bit of a mix between these runs. You can't really make it 100%. Okay, an extra lantern, perfect. More flint and steel, that's like one silver, so can't deny that. Turn lights on so I can see. Ignore that, that's a part of a quest for a DLC. DLC. A mod. Sorry. Come on, Alat, give us something good. Crap. And there's another pickaxe here. Don't forget to turn your lantern off. It will burn out the oil very fast. And when you need it and you're in a cave and you can't see what you're doing, you're going to die most likely because that's going to kill you because you won't be able to see it. Now we're going to go and sell the stuff we've got. Every coin counts. What can I do? All right. Okay, so sell the duplicates of stuff that we don't need yet again. Sell all the weapons. We're going to sell the pickaxe because we've currently got one equipped. And these two harpoons. The clothing we're going to keep. Keep the clothing. 
sell all the recipes. Even this potion recipe here, we will put it on the screen. So all these recipes will be on the screen at the end of the video. Let's set the blue sand. Beautiful. Okay, everything's looking good in order. I can now put this away. Now, we're going to deconstruct all the cloth items. Perfect. Now we're going to run back over to this guy. I'm going to see what armor we can put. Preferably the padded armor is what we're going to go going for because that has no negative effect. Is there something you need? So he's currently selling the padded chest and the boots. Okay. So we may be able to afford both of them if we're lucky after getting our skills. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and pick our weapon of choice. Because we have two predator opponents, realistically, I could get the really low enchants, a two-handed sword, fang one. But for the video, I'm going to show you the one-handed variant. And the mo what most likely of you right. getting is the axe. So we're going to buy the axe for 20 silver. To craft the axe, we need a nine axe, one piece of cloth, and one predator bone. And the likelihood of you getting this is actually quite high. It's a good 60%. Okay, we're going to that. And the shield. And now we've got a nice shield. And a fang axe. So we can inflict bleed. And we've got dur good durability for such early on. Okay. So we're going to pick up these last two gathering bits. And what I forgot to do, actually... We've got to craft a cloth fist. Cloth knuckles. So, we're equipped said cloth knuckles. We're going to go and talk to the gatesman. Need Same something? Going outside. Well, you've yes got the essentials at least. Here, there you go. All right. There we go. Number flint steel we can sell. Comfortable letting you outside the walls. And now Use we the door when you want to head out. The reason you go axe, one-handed axe, or shield, or the and shield, and or the iron claymore, is because you can get enraged plus the weapon skill within the town of Cierzo. You get the one-handed axe skill from up here where we're going now to one of the trainers, and you get the two-handed sword skill pommel counter from the guy we just spoke to. Yeah. What can I do for you? Let's train with you. Deal, here's your money. Listen. There we go. This inflicts plain and slow. Amber, train with this my guy. Friend. Get the extra 25 HP. Which is a must have. And now, we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to deconstruct a bunch of st stuff and make a bunch of things. We're going to sell the predator bones for the extra coin. First, we're going to make two bandages and a bunch of knuckles. As many as we can get our hands on. So we're going to go and buy some cloth. And the only two people that sell cloth in this town is the alchemist and the guy we're going to get our armor off. Hey there! Ignore all this. This is all DLC stuff. As in DLC, I mean mods. There we go. If you're wondering why we're paying for this, it's because it sells for more than we buy. Is there something you need? There we go. Let's cross the last lot. And now let's sell them. Is there something you need? Duplicates. Sell. Sell the bread of the bones. Sell all these. They sell for five. So you, for every, so in any case, it's three cloth to make one of these, and that's three silver. The profit of two. So it's something you can't really pass up on. Now we have fifty-three. The best one would be to buy the padded 
chest face, which is what we're going to do compared to the 25 here. With that in mind, we now have an extra chest piece and a much better one at that. So we're going to deconstruct our old one. Which we then can... We're not going to craft into knuckles. We're actually going to craft them into racks. So we're going to do the frost rag, which is the best one to start off early. We're going to create two of them. Three of them, actually. Four of them. Perfect. We have four rags. It's exactly what we want. Now, we're going to take off our head and our boots. And we're going to craft them into the makeshift leather, which is one of the recipes that we picked up. Then you put your boots in. And there we have it. Pretty good armor, not going to lie. We could have had a better weapon, but the likelihood of actually picking the two predator bones up again is very, very low. If you do get the two predator bones, I advise you going for the two-handed sword, which is very simple, and the recipe's on the screen here now, as this is just an extra predator bone with the two-handed sword. Okay, let's start cooking. So let's make some more jam. Make some more tartine. Make some even more tartine if we had the bread. We do not have the bread. So let's make some, get some salt. So we'll draw the water. We get five clean water and five salt, which is perfect for the stuff that we're going to need. Now we're going to use the water that we've boiled and the spice beetle to make some tea and the leftover seaweed to make some tea. We're also going to use the meat and the leftover gabbries and some salt to make some yeast stew. Using the fish that we've got, all three of them, in here with some salt. And that's everything we can make of our current setup. We currently actually have quite a lot of lanterns, which is actually really good for early on players, especially if you bump into something that is incredibly dangerous but weak to fire, which most things are in this first area. So, we're going to hot bar our skills, place these where you wish, it's completely up to you. So as you can see, that's our passive skill there. We're going to put throw lantern on here as well. And we're going to go to the hotbar area. We assign a quick slot. I'm going to put item. I'll put your shield on one. And one of the lanterns on another. This is because it's just an offhand. The lantern is an offhand. So when you equip the lantern, it's an offhand. When you equip the shield, it's an offhand. You will throw the lantern at basically if you get the chance to. And only in only if... It's worth it. You have three of them though, and they're fairly common to pick up. So, as you can see, we currently are at sitting at 22 physical damage, 18 impact, 1.1 speed with bleed. And the bleed buildup is really good with the axe. 17 physical defense, 17, uh, 25 impact defense, 15 cold resistance, which is actually really good early on, to be honest. Not going to lie, we did pretty good there. Also, we have our shield as well. It's not the greatest, but you will replace this pretty quick after fighting a couple of bandits. So don't worry. It will be fun. Max, 100 stamina, 125 health, which is very, very nice. A decent amount of skills. This inflicts pain and cripple. So cripple slows them down for about five seconds. Pain increases your physical damage out by 25%. So it's very good. We've got eight silver left over, which you can help to get your own house. But... I'm going to save you the money in the next video, so you'll see that. If this guide was helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. And come watch me on Twitch if you want to see me live. Don't forget that the world of Orion is harsh and unforgiving. So, don't give it a chance. To get one up on you. Happy hunting, everyone.